Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rockin' a Country. This is just sort of a fun thing I started doing about two months ago where I'll get an idea for a list or a quiz. And I made a playlist of like Rockin' a Country quizzes. But this will go in there. It's not a quiz per se. But I decided to do a list of my favorite sitcoms of all time. And man, it was harder than I thought to come up with. And then I actually ordered them in order of which were my favorite. And that was the hard part because it's like, well, how do I differentiate between the way I felt as a kid watching a sitcom and as an adult? And like the Brady Bunch, I loved the Brady Bunch growing up. And that's a sitcom. But I remember I was so young watching it that it was half education. Like, oh, he's going to get in trouble with his parents. And the, so even though there was comedy, it was more like I felt like I was part of the skit in there. And it was like educational to see how life kind of works if you screw something up. So it wasn't as funny to me as it was engaging. So that didn't make the list. So for me, there were certain shows I didn't see or I did see, but I wasn't really crazy about them. Like if I redo this list in the future and I watch Curb Your Enthusiasm in the meantime, that might make the list because all my friends who've watched it are like, oh my gosh, that's so funny, but I've never watched it. And the way I do, the way I can judge this too is that when I'm scrolling for something to watch and I see a particular show is listed, I will always click on it. And that's how I know. I And some of these shows have been on air for 15 years and they still capture my attention. So they're way up the list. So the top two are a tie. I never pass by it. When I see them listed in the guide as I'm scrolling down, and my my top two favorite sitcoms of all time are It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and South Park. Those two, top of the list. To this day, anytime they're on, I will still click on them. Okay, number three, Seinfeld. Number four, MASH. Even though that was set in a war, it was still a very funny show, and it was designed basically to be that. Number five, Modern Family. That show just kills me. Number six, 30 Rock. That was just so quirky and funny with those characters. Number seven, The Office. With Michael, that's what she said. That everybody still says that. All my friends say that still. Number eight, The Honeymooners. I know a lot of you guys will like that one. Number nine, The Cosby Show. I always watched that when that came on. Number 10 was on at the same time The Cosby Show was Family Ties. Number 11, Scrubs. Number 12, Parks and Rec, Parks and Recreation. My surrogate daughter Lex turned me on to that when she stayed with me for a year. I never watched it. Then she's like, oh, can we watch Parks and Rec? I'm like, of course. And I got hooked. Number 13, Reno 911. I cry watching that show. Number 14, Taxi with Danny DeVito and, and others. Hogan's Heroes was number 15. Number 16, Get Smart. Number 17, Malcolm in the Middle. That show just cracked me up. The mother would lose her mind half the time because she's raising three boys and her husband, too, was, was nuts. Number 18, The Carol Burnett Show. Number 19, Cheers. Number 20, a lot of you folks will know this one and that have enjoyed it, too, is I Love Lucy. Number 21, The Munsters. And number 22, All in the Family. All right. So then I made a list of an additional four that are like honorable mention. And that was WKRP in Cincinnati. That was a quirky show, but like Lonnie Anderson, good Lord. The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Green Acres. And the final one is Welcome Back, Cotter. 
So, and there are other very, there are very funny shows as well, but they just didn't sort of resonate with me when I was making the list and looking up all the different sitcoms that have ever existed, I suppose. So, like, the Beverly Hillbillies were funny, but, yeah, I guess, you know what, they're, they're honorable mention also. So, I've got five honorable mentions and 22 officially made the list, so... There it is, guys. I'm sure you're going to have comments on that. I've re probably reminded you of some of the shows that you've seen and enjoyed in your lifetime. But also, you'd be like, oh my gosh, how could you like that show that's idiotic? Or, dude, you, got, you didn't like this show? How could you not like this particular show? Like, I never really got into Friends. Like, my younger sister, it's like her favorite show of all time. And I don't know. It just, it never did it for me for whatever reason. So. And also, like, The Simpsons, that was just okay. My buddy, it's like he thinks it's the greatest thing ever. I don't even think it comes close to holding a candle to South Park. But c'est la vie. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed that list. That is going to go in the list of quizzes. Maybe I'll change the name of the playlist to, like, quizzes and lists or something like that. So have a great day. See you on another video. Keep rocking the country and these lists and quizzes.